everybody, it's Coach Kathy coming at you from Hybrid Fitness. The last video that I did, we talked about lower back pain. For a lot of you, you were like, I want more exercises for lower back pain, what do you got? So I have three more easy tips that you can do. You don't need any equipment, you can do them from your home, almost from anywhere. Let's dive into those three simple tips. So let's get started with our simple tips. But before we do that, I just want to make sure that this is not for you if you have numbness and tingling in any of your limbs, if your limbs are not working properly, and if you have chronic pain, if you've had pain that has lasted a very long time. There are also some other reasons why some of these things may not work for you, and you just need to check with your doctor beforehand. Our first exercise that we're going to do is lying right in our bed. We are going to lie down in our bed you want to make sure your lower back is on the mat okay we're going to bend the knees okay put the soles of the feet on the floor we're going to engage the abs so think about like if someone was going to come and punch you in the stomach hopefully that will not happen but you're going to tense that belly right up okay you're going to extend one leg and you're going to lift that leg just as high as the other knee okay and then down so just little lifts. Okay, you might want to start off with just five, and then you can work your way up to 15. Switch legs, make sure whatever you do on one leg, you do on both legs. Okay, so we're just lifting and lowering that leg. If this is as far as you can go, that's great. If this is really easy and comfortable for you, then we're gonna move on to the next exercise. But if this is as far as you can go, you may want to look at that first video that I did on back pain. So the second exercise, we are going to lift our heels to the heavens. So we're gonna lift that leg past the knee and you want that heel to go straight up to the ceiling. You wanna bring those toes toward your nose. Okay, we're gonna stretch the whole back of our leg. You can either do one leg at a time if that is your speed or you can do both legs at the same time. Or if you do one leg but you think you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can slightly pull that leg closer to your face. It doesn't have to be all the way down here, but just a little bit at a time. We don't want any pain. You want a little challenge, but no pain. If you're really flexible, you can do both legs at the same time. Just take it one step at a time at your own pace. Our third exercise, I'm gonna get up and show you on the bench. Again, you can still be lying in your bed. This is my bed for today. So we're gonna be lying nice and flat in our bed. We're gonna sink one knee off the side of the bed and let your foot hang, okay? This is gonna stretch the whole front side with hip flexors. We stretch the back of the leg with the heels to the heavens. We're gonna stretch the front of the leg right here by dropping that foot off. Again, just make sure that whatever you do on one side of your body, you do on both sides. So you'll have to roll around and do the other side as well. All right, so tip number two, we're gonna talk about the piriformis. It's a little petite muscle. It does have an impact on your sciatic nerve and can cause some pain. For a little muscle, it can do a lot. So we need to make sure that we stretch it. It enables your legs to go in and out from your body. What we need to do is while we're standing, we're gonna take one leg and cross it over the other. You're gonna have a soft knee in the standing leg. All you're gonna do is sit down. You're gonna feel this stretch all back here in your hip and on the side of your leg. That's where you wanna feel it, in the leg that's bent. This is one stretch. If this is not your thing and it's too complicated to balance on one foot, even though you have a finger up, you can come over and sit down. So again, we're gonna take that leg and cross it over the knee. This might be as far as you get. Just sit up nice and tall. You might already be able to feel that in your hip and down your leg. If you need a little bit more of a challenge, you just very slowly lean forward, okay? Just little lean. You might wanna take a nice big inhale, and as you exhale, you can lean a little bit more to get more of an intense stretch. This is that same thing, only sitting. The third way that we can stretch this, the piriformis, is to lie down. You're gonna have the soles of your feet on the floor. Again, you're gonna bend one leg over your knee. You're gonna put your hands right under the crease of your knee, and pull that leg toward you. You can lay right back on the mat and pull that leg toward you. You can keep this leg bent or you can straighten that leg. Again, you can take a nice big inhale 
And then as you exhale, pull that leg a little closer. Again, you're gonna feel it in the hip and in the leg of the bent leg. Those are my three piriformis stretches. Let's head on to tip number three. Tip number three is breathing. <sighs> Believe it or not, most of us do not take full breaths when we breathe. We breathe really shallowly, especially if we're under stress. And if you go up to someone and they're under stress and you say, you need to take some deep breaths, most of the time they'll say, I don't have time for that. But when you really think about that, you do have time. You do have time to take deep breaths. The first step to taking a deep breath is just to practice wherever you are. You could be in the car, you could be raking leaves, you could be folding laundry, you could be on a very boring Zoom call. Nobody's gonna know if you're taking nice, deep, calm breaths. You're just gonna breathe in and out. Just think about the breath. The second thing that I wanna tell you about is square breathing. So if you really wanna create a pattern and something to follow, you can breathe in for the count of four. So you're gonna have a nice big inhale. One, two, three, four. You're gonna hold that for four. One, two, three, four. Then you're gonna exhale for four. One, two, three, four. And then you're gonna hold again for four. So that's what makes the square. So it's inhale, hold, exhale, hold. That can give you something to keep track of while you're trying to be mindful of that breathing. The third thing you can do, and you can do this lying down in your bed or sitting up, is breathing so that diaphragm moves. That's what you want. You want your diaphragm to move. So you can do that by placing your hands on your belly. You're gonna take a nice big inhale. When you inhale, you wanna see that belly rise, okay? And then when you exhale, you want to exhale so that all that air comes out and your belly goes down. So again, you can still do that square breathing. You can just take deep breaths and, and not count. So that is the third step. The fourth step is to meditate while you're breathing. Basically, you're focusing on your breath. You don't have to count. You don't have to, you know, do any equations or anything. All you have to do is think about your breath going into your body and coming out of your body. You don't have to be a yogi to do this. It's really simple. You just want nice deep breath. You just wanna think about all that air coming in and flushing your whole system with oxygen and then a nice long exhale. So if you have a longer exhale than you have inhale, you're going to stimulate your parasympathetic nervous system to turn on and that creates a very calm environment for your body. It just relaxes you, it lowers your blood pressure, it lowers your heart rate, it tells your body that it's okay to relax. So why is this important for low back pain? Because a lot of us carry our stress in our low back. By breathing, especially those deep breaths into your diaphragm, you're going to relax your lower back. And that may help decrease some of the pain that you're experiencing. Those are my three easy tips. The first one was three exercises you can do right from your bed. The second one was three exercises you can do for your piriformis muscle. And the third thing was to breathe. That may be the most important one out of all three. So those are my three easy tips for more suggestions on how to alleviate or even completely eliminate that lower back pain that you are struggling with right now. It's Coach Kathy at Hybrid Fitness. Please check out our other videos from all of our coaches. And remember, small steps and big results.